students, I am Yogesh V from 7th standard B section and today's scientist is Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta's contributions to mathematics were so significant that he is often considered the father of modern mathematics. He was one of the first mathematician to use zero as a number and he also developed a system of representing numbers using decimal notation. Aryabhatta was born around the 4th century CE in Kasampura, Bihar. He is believed to have written the first book on mathematics in the world called the Aryabhatiya. This book contains a lot of important mathematical concepts such as algebra, arithmetic and geometry. Aryabhatta also made significant contributions to astronomy including calculating the value of pi. His work helped to lay the foundations for modern mathematics and astronomy. Aryabhatta's most significant contribution to mathematics was his development of algebraic methods. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with manipulating equation and expressions. He developed the concept of zero by realizing that the number zero can be used to represent the absence of a number. He also showed that zero could be used as a placeholder in mathematical equation. Aryabhatta's contributions to astronomy were equally significant. He was the first astronomer to calculate the value of pi. He also developed a solar system model that correctly accounted for the motion of the planets around the sun. His work on astronomy helped to lay the foundations for modern planetary science. He also developed a system for expressing large numbers. He was the first mathematician to realize that the earth rotates around the sun. He also made several other significant contributions to mathematics including the first use of negative numbers and the first description of a spherical earth. Aryabhatta's work had a significant impact on the development of mathematics and astronomy. His contributions to these fields are still studied and used by mathematicians and astronomers worldwide. He is without doubt one of the most influential figures in the history of mathematics and astronomy. Now it's quiz time and today's question is who is considered as a father of modern mathematics in India? Stay tuned, keep watching, thank you.